Hello and welcome to the Essence of Knowledge weekly meeting. This meeting is a part of the Essence of Knowledge program which is a free and online program for those who are interested in the path of knowledge. In this meeting I try to answer your questions and clear your doubts. I try to help in verification and we conduct exams in the meeting itself. Anybody who wants to join this program is most welcome it is open to all it is available on gyanmark.guru so we can begin today's meeting if there are any questions most welcome okay we have a question by bhupen if our true nature is emptiness with infinite potential and infinite possibilities then how can we say that once having the direct experience of the nothingness or better say being the nothingness we won't have to come back again as experience how can it liberate us by being the emptiness first thing is nothingness is not a good word emptiness is a good word emptiness means the existence itself you are that so always use correct words nothingness or non existence is not possible by using correct words your intellect will be disciplined to think accurately you are not nothingness you are the whole existence whose essence is empty immaterial second you are already liberated this is what is explained in your program who are you you are the experiencer what is the bondage in experiencer nothing you are already liberated since you are this very emptiness already there is no other process after this nothing will happen after this you are liberated since the beginning you are liberated now and there is no possibility of any bondage in future eternally free that is your nature can you not appear as experience you are already eternally appearing as experience experience of world experience of bodies experience of uh, minds in the end it is all experience of mind only so where is the problem in the question first problem i see is uh, not using accurate words second is assuming you are not liberated somehow you forgot the teaching third is probably you still think that you are a person you are a human being or you are some kind of body mind machine so if you correct these problems the question will disappear you are already liberated there is no how there is no further process nothing more needs to be done you are already appearing as experience eternally it is a timeless experience the time is uh, an illusion it is created from the experience so there is no coming back there is no going away it is all presence always present nothing else can happen there is no other possibility you are already free you are already emptiness it it has infinite potential which is appearing rest is your imagination rest is simply ignorance so let me know if you have any more doubts if you still think that uh, you are a person something is wrong uh, you need to again contemplate on this thing who am i try to see you are not this person which is appearing try to see that there is no time there is no going coming nothing it is all an illusion try to see that there are no bondages in you nothing bounds you focus on your true nature drop the identification with the body mind that is not you okay bhupen is saying actually my question was because i used to hear that once the direct experience happens the seeker does not have to take birth again is it blind belief yes there is no seeker is there a seeker and that thing which is seeking something is completely illusion the only knowledge you will get is that there was nothing to seek nobody was there to seek it was all a dream there is no birth already whatever you think is birth of seeker or myself is already an illusion now the question is can this illusion happen again there is infinite potential everything happens here can it stop yes everything is already stopped the problem is believing that there is a seeker 
and uh, there is a birth and there is a death it is all blind belief the truth is you are eternally present essence and names and form it is all one there is already no birth there is already no death now why do they say these things because it appears that something is taking birth and it appears that there is a desire to take birth what is the desire there it is ignorance that i am no one without a body mind as soon as it is known that i am not this body mind probably this desire drops this desire is destroyed but it is not you something will change in the illusion somewhere but you are the vast existence yourself there will be infinite number of births which will be illusions no real birth things are getting born which means simply change is happening some illusion changes into some other illusion you start calling it a human or creature or seeker then it disappears somewhere new things appear waves on the ocean so it is all fantasy try to understand these things it may happen that in some places in the existence the desire to take form disappears and it does not go away it takes some other form it appears as something else because the existence is completely infinite you are all of it so one seeker does not take birth but you are not that seeker there will be infinite number of things that will be taking birth in you that is you and they do not actually take birth that it is a dream birth and death and life so it is all a story blind belief you are eternally present and now it becomes really meaningless to say that it is me the i word will be dropped here because i refers to an individual most of the time but this is the universal existence there is no i now i know this is a very common belief that people after knowledge still think that they are a seeker they are a person and they are born and they will die and probably hopefully because i heard something that i am the experiencer i will stop taking birth now that is superstition you were never born you will never die what appears can appear in any way birth death life plant animal infinite forms is that important no as long as you are identifying with a seeker or birth and death liberation has not happened that is true bondage isn't it identification with names and forms is the true bondage once you understand that you are not these names and forms you are liberated there is no process it is simply ignorance shedding of ignorance clearing of the dirt no process of getting liberated and then whatever is happening in the illusion continues nothing needs to be done to stop it or start it it is not there really and this is the place of final rest this is peace here this is bliss oh finally i need to do nothing it is all perfect already neelam is saying since everything is happening here and now so are all past and future lives of the organism are happening together as many different dreams you can say that that everything is happening at the same time however you will never experience anything like this so there is no past life there is no future life but anything can appear because the dream is absolutely infinite however the knowledge of it will not happen the knowledge will always be of a finite form in a finite place some kind of world and in a finite body mind it will always be like this in other words you can reverse it and say it like this nothing is actually happening everything is happening means nothing particular is happening everything is happening means there is all kind of potential here in finite dreams yes in finite lives yes in finite organisms yes it is all in a potential form not actual when you try to know then this potential collapses into something actual and one form appears in one world one imaginary individual appears and it disappears you can say that is what is happening that is what appears to happen it is completely meaningless now whatever appeared as organism 
things about it. That's all there is. They are only thoughts. You will never experience it. And it, even if you experience it, it will be some kind of dream only. That I am experiencing hundred dreams as hundred organisms, all past, all future. But that will be another dream. The illusion is so potent that it will grant you any vision you want because you are illusion yourself. That illusion is a part of you, isn't it? Experience is also you. Experiencer also you. So it cooks up anything it wants. Ultimately, you can say anything about the illusion, but you cannot call it knowledge. Knowledge of the illusion is always negative. You can say nothing is happening. You can say it is appearing. You can say there is no such experience. And these are true sentences. These statements are true. But as soon as you say oh, this is happening, there is past, there is future. That means it is all positive now. Positive statements. And they will be all false. Because everything that appears is false. No positive statements can be made about the illusion. And in general also, in, about the existence, about the experiencer, nothing positive can be said. Only negative. All you can do is clear up whatever this thing is, this organism is imagining and be that which you are. You are that which is not imagining, is not imagination, has no past, no future, nothing. Where nothing is happening, is completely empty. Be that. That is called abiding in your true nature. Knowledge of the illusion is also illusion. Kesha is saying, you say that uh, whenever there are desires, then become aware of desires. I tried that sometimes I noticed that uh, non-essential desires fade away, but sometimes they come back stronger. Does this mean that purification is required? Probably, because it totally depends on... Uh, what is the desire? Because not all desires are coming from impurities. There is no rule like this that if a desire is there, it must be always be because of some kind of impurity. No. Actually, most of them, 90% of these desires that arise every second, they are very pure. There is nothing wrong in them. If they come back again and again, try to fulfill the desire, there is nothing wrong in fulfilling the desire if it is not producing a bad consequence. There are some desires which repeat. For example, food, no matter how many times you eat, the next day there is same desire. And that means it is necessary. That means it is it must be fulfilled. If there is a desire, you don't do anything about it. And there are no bad consequences. Your life goes on nicely. That means it is unnecessary, non-essential as you said. And uh, if it comes back again, stronger, weaker, doesn't matter. And if you do, don't do anything, still your life goes on nicely. Again, it means it is unnecessary. But if it is interfering with uh, your life, life means this organism, whatever it needs to do to stay alive. If that is not comfortable, that means it is necessary. Try to uh, judge the desire by its consequences. What will happen if you fulfill it? And if there are no very bad consequences and fulfill it, see if it comes back again. It must be done by experimentation. If there are very bad consequences of fulfilling that desire, only then you can conclude that it is an impurity. Then something needs to be done about it. Neelam is saying, what is the meaning of this quote? How to destroy fear? Is it by remembering that I am the existence and is devoid of any emotions, qualities like fear? Okay, the quote is saying, as soon as the fear approaches near, attack and destroy it. It is very tricky quote because the context is missing. There is no context. I mean, we don't know why he wrote this thing. So now it is open to interpretation. That means anything can be said. And the rule is that always ask that person who says it. Only then you will get correct answer. Otherwise, you will get an opinion of somebody else. 
now obviously you cannot ask that person a second option is your second alternative is that you will assume something about it which is also bad so what to do about such sentences which we do not uh, immediately understand which we do not grasp which is not according to our experience my suggestion is if you don't understand it simply drop it simply leave it that means it is not for you that means it is not uh, relevant for you do not try to act on these things random quotations from random people see if it is useful see if you completely understand in one sentence one second what was said then probably it is useful for you so opinion yes we can we can do this kind of light hearted thinking that probably he means something like this or something else so obviously it is meant to encourage the person that uh, do not act on fear destroy it see why there is a fear and uh, try to get out of it that's all is said and nothing is implied that you remember that you are existence or think that i don't have any emotions or qualities like fear no nothing is implied there there is no context of non duality here simply encouraging that uh, fear produces very bad consequences that's all he's saying any intelligent person will let it pass when the fear appears sit down quietly if it is not urgent to act and let it go away because it is an emotion and emotions they simply cause impulses nothing intelligent happens when you act on emotions so let it go away and when the mind is clear think about the situation what is the best thing to do in this situation do your best and that is what is meant by attacking and destroying it do not manipulate it by escaping into the non dual philosophy <laughs> if you do it again and again slowly you will see that the fears and other emotions you know those emotions that you call positive they stop directing your life the, this person is a puppet of the emotions and if you hold your ground attack and destroy whatever negativity is there it loses control you become more in control of this body mind so purification process yes so it looks like today's questions are over and my recommendation is to keep contemplating from the basics from the fundamental now your whole point of view should shift into the point of view of the truth always think from that point of view and do not worry about purification at this time that is step number 6 i don't think any of you is on the step number 6 right now will handle that in the step number 6 most probably the biggest impurity is ignorance not most probably certainly biggest impurity is ignorance if you attack it and destroy it no purification is needed change your point of view to the truth what is true verify you heard it check is it really true verification so here we are going to um, end today's meeting thank you everybody for uh, attending the meeting If you have any more questions we'll take it up next time I'll see you next time